Hey everybody, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. Today we're gonna look at the Grand Escape Plus from A-Liner. Now this is a trailer, they are famous for their A-frames, but this guy, wow. It's got amazing space in it. It has a toilet, no shower. It's really got a nice size sleeping area. And if you're looking for something under 2,000 pounds, this weighs 1650. You cannot beat that. This trailer has no options, but it comes with a 9,000 BTU air conditioner, a 50 watt solar panel, all kinds of great features inside. Let's quit talking about it. Let's go inside and take a look. Stepping in, wow, everything is low. There are no cabinets, nothing in my visual sight right up here. So it feels really very open for a small trailer. Big windows on each side really help with that. The light cabinets, all the things, right? Okay, now let's start right over here with this kitchen. You've got the two burner stove with the glass top and of course the Dometic sink with the lift up faucet. Now these are both so great for a small trailer because this is about six inches deep, so it's plenty of space here. Two nice burners here, and you know, for a small kitchen, again, great options. Fold these down, and just like you saw when we came in, you have to lift this up, otherwise you'll break that hinge there. You've got a counter space if you're not cooking. Great counter space on the other side if you don't need that area either, so, this feels great. It is six foot four in height, right as you walk in the door. Now, many of you know I'm five foot tall, so it looks great when I'm standing here, but I can tell you, it is six foot four. My cameraman, Clint, he is six four, and it works for him. Now, you're gonna have to duck a little bit on the air conditioner, but you know, at that height, maybe you're used to it. I don't know. Let's keep going over here. Microwave right here at the top, vent hood with the fan and the light. I love having the light right here on the counter and another one right over the sink. Great job on that. There is a fire extinguisher on the left. Now, I at first thought that was a little awkward, but when you're standing here working, I think you can work around that just fine. Now, they're doing that because by code, you need that fire extinguisher in the camper by the door. But as you can see underneath, there's no place else to put it. So maybe some of you guys who do great mods can move it once you've purchased the camper if it bothers you. But you'll find it right there when you buy it. Let's keep going. Now, down below is the three-way, three-cubic-foot refrigerator. It's got the controls right on top here. Just lift the cover and the thumb latch here. And really easy to get to. The door swings away, so perfect. And it's got a pull-down freezer right there. It is down below, but again, in a trailer this small, that's where you want it to be. Right next to that, you can see the water heater, standard six gallon water heater on this trailer. You have the water pump switch, and these two are just dead switches right there. They don't do anything. Uh, these two are gonna be your lighting. One of the interesting things they put in here is a dimmer switch on the lights. I think that's awesome. It is so uncomfortable to have a bright light in your eyes if you're in a very dark camping area. So you've got a dimmer switch for the footlight right here, see that? And then, the overhead light has a dimmer switch as well. Really kind of a cool feature. 110 plug right there on the right and around the corner is the USB plugs. So drawer right here, there is a latch so that when you travel, you can lock that closed. It's not gonna come open on you. It is only about this deep and you can go down about six, seven inches there. So it's kind of a cubby there. It doesn't go all the way back to the back of the counter. You've got more uh, appliances and gear back there. So down below, there is another storage space. It is only about 10 inches deep. It goes the full width of that cabinet up to the refrigerator, 
But again, you've got water pump, wires, things like that behind it. All right. You can see the venting right here. That is for the furnace. On the other side is where they have this nice countertop. And this is the toilet compartment right here. The difference between this ST and the other escape that they make is that this does not have the shower. But what that gives you is a nice open space here and cabinets up above. So the way this works is that you open this up, snap it into place, and there is a latch right on the inside. Open this up and there's your cassette toilet. You don't have to swivel anything, move anything. It is right there, ready to use. And there's a shelf on the back. You might keep extra things there. You know, of course, maybe some toilet paper, but maybe some other things that you'd like to store in this area. Plenty of space that won't get in the way for you. And then latch this right back up, unsnap this and fold it down. Most of you tell me that you only use the toilet at night. So if that's the case, this is perfect. It's right there. It's available. It is a built-in cassette, so it's super easy to dump. I'll show you that outside, but it also doesn't feel like it takes up much space in here. That is really nice. It's what gives this such a great feel for a small trailer that weighs 1650. You've got countertop here and another latch to hold this drawer closed when you're going down the road. And again, a fairly short drawer. It does go back about that deep. So uh, not terrifically long here. It doesn't open all the way, but again, if it's storage space, we're all for it, right? You don't want to waste an inch in a trailer like this. Down below, another cabinet. Uh, this one does go pretty far back. You've got about 18 inches deep on this. So a little bigger storage space there. Now they have a drop floor right here in the front. It does step up about three or four inches as you step into the bed area and the roof slopes down. So you lose a little bit of space there and you're not going to have the height that you have. So you're going to be ducking down, but there's no reason to stand on that side of the trailer. Most likely you'll be sitting. So for most of us, that's not a problem. Now for me, it's pretty easy. I just realized we didn't talk about these upper cabinets. So I'm going to jump back to that. I get out of order. Sometimes I get so excited to show you everything. These cabinets are about 10 inches deep and of course have all the open space in there. So you've got one there and two more right over here. They're not divided here. It's one long space. Great for kitchen, pantry, clothing, whatever it is you need to store up there. I am really impressed with the lighting in here. You've got four puck lights here, three on the other side. Feels very bright. I'm so glad there's not one right here staring me in the face. That would be uncomfortable for me. All right, stepping up into the bed area, you can see I step up just a little bit here and you've got this nice shelving over here. I am a big fan of open shelving, particularly in small trailers. The reason is because it makes everything accessible. Doors kind of get in the way. And if you wanted to store clothes up here, it'd be very easy to roll them up, stack them in here. And you would be really surprised if you have not done that before, how much you can fit in there. It's a super easy way to carry clothing in open bins like that. Of course, you can put anything that works for you up there. You do have on the end here another 110 plug. So anything that you'd like to put right on top of this counter, you know me, coffee maker always has to have a place right up here, plugged in on the side. I'm good to go. Okay, let's talk about the windows. These are the dual paned uh, windows that open to give you a huge breeze. These are not sliding windows. They're very lightweight, but one of my favorite ways uh, to put windows in a camper. So you do have a blackout shade here. You have a screen here and 
this window opens completely. So this can open all the way out and then you just tighten it down on both sides. That's going to create a really nice breeze flowing through this trailer if you're in a spot where you don't want to run the AC. This trailer does have the ability to recharge itself. So if you're in a cool climate, don't need the AC or the microwave, you've got a 50 watt solar panel on the front. That's going to recharge the batteries that you have in this camper. You could actually do some really nice boondocking here. All right. Let's undo this, bring it right back down. Now, one thing I always like to mention on these windows is there is a slot right here that you can put that handle in. Now that leaves a space here to the outside. And that's great if you want to use venting there for it, or if you just need a little bit of air at night when you're sleeping and you don't want to leave your windows unlocked. What you don't want to do is drive down the road like this because the air gets up underneath this window and it can actually take the window off your camper as you're going down the road. So be sure before you go anywhere that this latch is directly in front of that slot. You'll want to close it up all the way around and you're locked into place and ready to travel. All right, now let's show you how this bed works. Right now, we have it set up without the table. There is a single pole table that drops right in here and it makes a really nice workspace, but much easier to show you everything without it in here. So the way the bed works, you just simply slide this out. They pull out from both sides, the back drops down, and you've got a really nice sleeping space. This space is 72 by 77. Now, if you don't know bed sizes, what that means is it is a foot wider than a standard queen bed and only three inches shorter. So really nice open space here. You know, you might want to put your heads at this end. That is a little tight back there. If that shelf on the top doesn't bother you and you need to work during the day, you might want to put your table in here, sleep in the back, and you would have both spaces. You could also use one side or the other as sleeping. The other side is working. You know, A-liner folks have such great modifications. I cannot wait to see how you guys manipulate this to work for whatever it is you need. Let's look at a few more things. 23 inch television. It is standard in here and the cabinets open up. Now, speaking of modifications, they use the same Prop, gas props to hold this door open that they do in the upper cabinets. And it really works fine in the upper cabinets. Down here, I don't know, I might be a little bit annoyed. And all you need to do is to undo that gas prop and this is going to freely open. I know what A-Liner is trying to do is be sure the door stays open so you can reach in. So whatever preference you have, it would be an easy modification to open the door more if you were willing to hold it while you grabbed what you needed. Because this space in here is about 18 inches deep on the floor, but the roof is slanted, so it gets very short at the back. Still in all, it runs all the way across in the back. And so there really is a lot of room for clothes or gear, whatever it is you need. There's more storage underneath this back area. It has a 200 pound weight limit. You'll see the sticker on there when you open it up. You just lift up the panel underneath. It has a gas prop too. So it will stay open while you get what you need from under this back area. And you'll wanna be sure everything is spread out completely. But again, another great storage spot. You know, in a trailer this size, it's a struggle to make it feel so open and have plenty of storage. I think A-Liner has done a great job with that. You know, with this curved nose front, this thing is gonna tow like a dream if you have a lightweight vehicle. Let me set this back up because underneath here, there's just a few more things I wanna show you. Just slide that back, very easy to do. Flip up the cushions. Right under here, you'll see the furnace vent. This is gonna be your LP carbon monoxide detector. Again, another safety feature. You do not want to disable that. If your battery gets low, 
it is going to chirp every 30 to 45 seconds, just like your smoke alarm does in your house. So now you know what that means. Uh, be sure to keep your batteries charged. And over here, that is the converter. It's going to convert the shore power to 12 volt as well to run pretty much everything on the camper, except your AC and your microwave. You're going to need to be plugged into shore power to have those items work. But it does have the breakers and fuses in the front, so it's easy to access right there. You know, before we step outside, I just want to say one more time, I am impressed with how nice this feels in here. You know, so many small campers try to put everything in it, and it's very tough to make it feel so open. So if you need a little more elbow room, you might want to take a look at the 2023 Grand Escape Plus. All right, we're going to go outside and check that out. First thing is the awning. It is the full width here and it comes out three feet. Now, it's not a huge awning. You're not gonna put your entire outdoor living area right here, but it is a great feature to keep the door covered in case it's rainy, in case it's sunny, you know, just a place to regroup going in and out. So great option to have on this trailer. Let's take a look right here at the cassette toilet. Before you go, ew, let's think about this. If you're at a dump station, you're kind of up close and personal anyway. But here, this is just so convenient. You can avoid the dump station altogether in some cases. If all you need to dump is your black tank, then you can pull this out, carry it to a porta potty, a dump station if you'd like. I am a big fan of cassette toilets. They're so easy to use. So the way you do that is you just pull this out right here. It slides right out. And you can see it has wheels on the bottom. Uh, so you lift this handle, unlatches there, and tow it to wherever it is you need to dump it. When you're ready to dump, I put the handle right back in. And then, you know, it's got grips all the way around it. So this grip right here is what I would use to dump it. You just swivel this out. You have a thumb a button here and that is to put a little air inside this container so it's not going to bubble and splash coming out. It's going to be a very even flow. You can dump it in a toilet just like you do a mop bucket of water. Very easy or of course at a dump station any place that's convenient. Just put the cap back on and slide this right back into place. Slides in, it opens up automatically. So don't let that scare you, it's a great feature. It holds about five gallons, but of course, I don't wait till it's full to dump it. It's easier for me. I wait till it's maybe about half full, but that can be days. All right, let's keep going. So over here, I wanna point out this nice handle. You know, there isn't a step on the Escape, so the handle is a great feature. I love the acrylic look of it. Just a nice, nice thing to have. Nice porch light, outside shower here. So if you're at the beach, need to rinse off a little bit, you know, after I go hiking, if I'm covered in bug spray, I just need a quick rinse, sometimes just on my legs. So outside shower works great. It is hot and cold. So if you wanted to get a shower tent, it's uh, great for privacy and makes it really easy to take a complete shower. The power cord is, of course, detachable, and that is what connects to the shore power if you're at a campsite. Furnace, 110 plugs right here, so if you needed to put any accessories connected to the trailer, very easy to do there. Now behind that, of course, the fresh water connection. That is gonna fill your 11 gallon fresh water tank. You do have a 13 gallon gray tank on this as well. Five gallons in the cassette toilet. Uh, you do have a plug. You've got a great 23 inch TV in there. So if you're at a campground that has cable or you have a portable satellite, that's where you use it. If you wanted to use a portable solar panel, you can plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired to the battery. Don't need to do anything. You do have the 50 watt on the front. Let's take a look at that. 
You can see the curve on the top has that 50 watt solar panel. So that is constantly gonna be gathering sunlight to try to charge the batteries. You have room for two batteries on here. Your dealer is gonna add that. So be sure to ask him what the standard is on this model. Most likely the dealer will only put one on unless you request something differently. But it does come with dual propane tanks. So you've got 40 pounds of propane right here. All right, your spare tire is mounted right back there. This curved front, it is so aerodynamic. It's gonna be a breeze to pull along with being so lightweight. And you've got that diamond plate on the front to catch all the bugs and all the road debris that might be bouncing up. Now on this side, that tank fill is going to be the fresh water fill. And that is gonna be the 11 gallon fresh water tank. You also have the venting for the six gallon water heater right here. You know, so many great features on this trailer and everything is standard. Did I mention that? Everything comes with this. Um, they are all gray with the black striping and the black trim. So there aren't any color options either. It is just so easy to decide what you want on your Grand Escape Plus because it all comes with it. I love that feature. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm always glad you're here. I'll see you next week.